there is a legend, as old as time itself perhaps, and I am constantly reminded of it since being told as a wee lad. This legend inspires those around them, it is the reason why so many of us wake up in the morning to face the world, and it is the reason why my Saturday nights are always booked up. Of course, I am talking about the legend of the boys. The term boy derives from Old English, which means a male child or young man. Given the pronoun the, the simple definition of boys becomes the male children or the young men. In conclusion, by adding the simple pronoun to the general noun, it implies that there is only one of these groups of people and therefore irreplaceable in one's life. On a more realistic note, I have people who have walked in and out of my life, but the ones who stick around hold a special place in my heart. From hearing me rant about my girl problems at the Starbucks at the road, to the late night video game sessions until 2 o'clock in the morning, these are some of the memories I remember and reminisce about as I'm sitting through my math class. From rocking the boat on the beach, singing sea shanties for a straight hour, to just sitting in the car after a massive dinner, talking about the purpose of life and pursuit of happiness, there have been a countless number of conversations and activities you have all forgotten about that I hold on to. Not all the boys are particularly boys, though. As the 2020 political climate continues to renovate the old ideas of the previous generation, the term the boys has expanded onto new fronts when it comes to gender. Most of the women in my life who are the boys tend to catch most of my rants about my girl problems and my unavoidable charm which has developed into a curse. There are even some respectable adults in this room who I would consider for this title, regardless if you want it or not. I have so much fun in your classes and I, can't, and I can feel the passion in your teaching and have to raise my cup to that regardless if I like the material or not. Ever since coming to RHP, I have been surrounded by some of the most interesting and inspiring individuals who have not only pushed me to do more academically, but also morally. High school can be a pretty rough ride, and I'm very glad that I had you beautiful people around me to bring out the best in me regardless of my reckless decisions. As we get closer and closer to graduation, I can't imagine a life without you in it. I have had so many memories with all of you, and I can't even begin to describe, for, and for so many different reasons, but all of you have made a massive impact on my life. You have all brought so much meaning to my world and embraced me for the giant dumpster fire that is Jacob Allen Smith. Before I go, I would like to leave you all with one of my favorite quotes. If the world was ending, I think I would grab some cinnamon toast crunch, a bunch of water, and I'd probably just, I'd probably go crazy. Tyler the Creator. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Woo! Some shout outs. Mr. Marr, you do so much for this school, and it really shows. I'm glad I got the opportunity to attend RHP. I can't thank you enough for the memories that you've allowed me to make on this campus. Ms. Gilbert, I've been in your art class for all four years of high school. It was always a comfort to see your name pop up on my new, on my new class schedule. Thank, for, thank you for giving me a safe space to be me and do the art that I've always wanted to do. Mrs. Blanchett, thank you for taking me into your advisory last year after Gable House left. We miss you, Phil. And thank you for tolerating me when it comes to math when all I do is complain. I do not like math. I will probably never like math. But I, think your class, uh, but I like your class, so I think that's pretty something. Pretty cool, something like that. Um, Ms. Hagee, I'm bummed that I had one of your... I'm bummed that I just had one of your classes this year. I wish I could have had them sooner because I feel like we really gel. And I'm sorry for not doing my AP Lang homework over the summer. I probably can't stop procrastinating, but at least I can apologize for that. Ms. Hodges, I'm also sorry for not doing my AP Lang homework. Uh, I really enjoyed your English class sophomore year, and I like how you asked me how my day is going whenever I'm going to the bathroom. That always brightens up my day. Mr. Flamini, your history classes are always a blast. I enjoy the funny comments you make. It keeps me entertained and engaged so I can look out for them. You'll kill it as head of RHP or director of RHP. I don't know what it is, but you'll be amazing at it. That's a Jacob guarantee. Max, here's your shout out. Just kidding, but you're a great, really cool kid. And I hope you're ready for the roller coaster that's high school. Matt, Adam, and Kyle, we've all been friends since freshman year, and I have so much fun kicking it with all of you guys. You guys are gonna do great things in college, and I can't wait to meet up after. Marlex, I have no clue where you were in my life until junior year. I'm so happy you became one of my best friends. You're an amazing photographer, but an even more amazing brother. Thank you for making my Instagram feed look good. Kennedy, you're pretty, you're pretty quirky, not gonna lie, and I hope you know I mess with you out of love and not out of malice. You're a great person, and I'm happy to call you one of my closest friends and honorary member of the boys. Ben, you're an amazing artist, I can't wait for someone to say, hey, look at that concept art in Star Wars Episode 21, and I can be like, yeah, I know that guy. You're a great guy, just know our friendship has really left a mark on me. Kate, you're a pretty cool kiddo. I don't think too many people can call their little sister one of their best friends. You love laughing at my stupidity more than anyone else. I don't plan on stopping, so be ready for that. Mom and Dad, everyone gets on this podium and says how they would never replace their parents, but it would be really cool if you guys were Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. I'll let you decide who's who. But I have something even better than them, and all jokes aside, I love you both so much, and I can't wait to make you guys proud, however long that might take. Thank you both for everything.